Hey guys, so many of you probably have seen my video about the Nano Long Range. The cool thing about the Nano Long Range is that it does work with a single 18, 18650 cell and a battery clip. So since it worked quite well, it got me sort of curious how far we can take these battery clips. And what I did is build a 4S version simply by joining two of these together. So these are sort of the double version of these trays that fit two batteries. I just soldered two of them up. And I'm really curious to see if this will perform, Is if these gold-plated contacts here are actually good enough or something. Like this 5-inch here, the Recon 5, this is where, what I'm going to use to test it. If this is actually able to really work efficiently or if we will have losses here at these contacts or any other issues. So let's get this battery on and let's try it. All right, so this is how it looks with the pack on. And surprisingly, this pack doesn't add too much weight. It adds like 10 to 20 grams more compared to a regular spot welded 18650 pack. The cells are VTC6. So what I'm also usually using and what is in most of the commercially available packs. All right, so let's get the thing in the air and let's see what happens. All right, so let's see what happens. So the voltage is dropping to 3.7, which is a bit more no, it's actually just as usual. All right, so 3.7, that's uh, what these packs usually do. So let's just keep cruising and see what happens and see what sort of flight time we will get. But so far, everything interestingly completely normal. Curious to see if there will be anything heating up or feeling hot when I get the quad back, but so far this flies completely normally. So this is obviously a 4S pack on a 6S setup, which is what I would really recommend for running lithium iron, because you keep the amp draw very low. You cannot draw more than 30 amps in principle anyway. So having higher KV is just quite useless and you benefit from my nicer front or resolution and the Recon 5 as you see does have a really good pit tune that makes it possible to run both 6 and 4s without having to change the tune so this thing absolutely flies perfectly so we're two minutes in 3.6 volt so i have i have the impression that maybe my voltage sag is slightly slightly higher than usual but really like maybe 0.1 Point two, because it's also quite cold. So I'm not seeing anything really surprising. Let's do a little punch out to see what happens. It drops quite a lot, but that's also absolutely normal. It really behaves very, very close to how these packs usually behave. Considering the temperature we have today, this is what I usually see on these packs anyway. It's maybe like I'm losing, I'm not 100% sure because it's hard to do a real side-by-side -side comparison, but maybe I'm losing 0.1 volt. still at 3.5 volts so everything going fine we are now five and a half minutes in almost six minutes everything going absolutely great just at 3.4 okay so we are now close to 20 minutes i'm at 2.7 volts this is where i think i'm going to stop it i could push a little further but um let's just leave it at 2.7 which is a reasonable 
Volcic to stop on his lithium ion cell. So let's get it in. It's already bouncing back to 2.8. Let's stop now at exactly 20 minutes. All right, so honestly, that was better than I expected. That thing does really perform quite well, that pack. I mean, I had maybe slightly higher voltage drop, maybe lost 0.1 volts, but not much. Uh, maybe lost a minute or two of flight time, I would guess. But honestly, if I didn't know that, it was, that this wasn't a regular lithium ion pack, I probably wouldn't really have noticed. The difference is, difference is actually pretty subtle. And these packs could have a few advantages. So for example, you can, switch, you can swap out a cell if it's dead. You don't have to throw away the entire pack. And we could sort of have modular packs for our FPV quads. So, you could just have a few dozen 18650 cells at home, few different clips here, two S, three S, whatever you need, and you just put the cells inside and it would actually make it much cheaper to run different types of quads from 2S to 6S, whatever you're using, could sort of be modular. So quite interesting results. I keep up the testing with these clips here, but so far, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results and quite impressed how well this actually worked. I didn't expect it to be that good. All right, guys, hope you found this interesting and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, bye-bye.